previously on the series. <laughs> no, go check those video, those videos out. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Irit, and on this channel, I share with you all the crochet fun that I'm having. So I started crocheting at the end of 2020, kind of as a hobby stress relief type of thing, and I've been seriously hooked. <laughs> So in this series, I'm sharing with you the full process of designing my own uh, kind of summer top. And if you haven't seen the uh, first two videos, I highly, highly recommend starting with that because this is an update and I'll tell you what I have done and where I'm at. So I decided to go with this stitch all the supplies will be listed below so including the book and everything so don't worry about it but this is just like a simple kind of net mesh type of stitch and this is my um swatch so i started actually with a larger hook size and then i changed to a smaller hook size but um the reason that i didn't like frog this uh, is first of all i have like multiple skeins so I don't have to uh, for now I don't think I will be using I have six of these it's uh, from Ice Yarns it comes in a pack of six so I have six of these I really doubt I will need more than one or two for um, my top because I'm only doing the like shoulder area with this and then I'm gon gonna use a different yarn so I actually wanted to keep the swatch because I'm going to do the back part as a simple rectangle, so I don't need any increases or decreases. And then for the front, I still haven't decided if I'm just going to do another rectangle and then just, you know, stitch them uh, in the shoulders, or if I actually want to create some sort of a scooped neck. Uh, so I kept the swatch in case I need to like practice the uh, increase or decrease. I still don't know how I will construct it if I decide to do um, like a scooped neck so i don't know uh yeah i guess one piece and i will just have to like increase and then decrease no i mean decrease and then increase yeah um so i'm keeping that for that stage if i get to it and in order to figure out how many chains i needed uh, basically i measured the width of my swatch with obviously I'm using the same hook um, for both of these. So I measured this and then I did like a, I don't know how you call it in English, you know, like just uh, the, if, if um, 20 chains, the multiple, like the, the number of chains that you need for this is for like multiple of four plus six. So here I have 26 and so I, counted this as 20 and then you know if 20 chains give me eight centimeters then how many chains do I need to get the measurement that I want which is 26 centimeters I don't know how much that is in inches I'm sorry I think it's around 10 inches or 11 inches I don't know but this is how wide I want it to be like this uh, on my back and uh, I just I want it to be like a sleeveless shirt so yeah it it doesn't reach my arms just like the part of the back until the armpits and it came out to be 68 chains well it actually if i calculate when i calculated it like with a calculator it was 65 the number that i got but i rounded it up uh, to be a multiple of four uh, I could have gone with 64 also, but I went with 68 and then added six more as the pattern requires. And then I just um, started doing this. Now, uh, the interesting thing about this is I have no experience in like really designing my own garments. So I'm kind of figuring out as I go, um, you know, this doesn't have like the little swatch doesn't have a lot of, gi of give, but obviously the more stitches you make, the more give it'll have. And... I don't know how much I, like, I don't know how this will behave if this is like the top part and then the weight of, you know, the, the body part uh, kind of hangs on this. I don't know how it'll look, but I, with my design, I don't have any kind of reason to believe that the weight won't, de won't be dis 
distributed evenly. So I don't think it'll be like too wonky or anything like that, but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, I don't, I still don't know how I will do this. If first I'll do the top part and then I will, you know, um, add the, the second type of yarn that I'm using to this, you know, like do the first row right on this, or if I'm going to crochet them separately and then assemble at the end. I still haven't thought about it. I still haven't decided. So yeah, the, the point is that all of this like construction, it's going to affect how this stretches and looks, and I don't want it to look like too wonky. So one thing I could have done is to go even uh, smaller on the hook size. I'm currently using a three and a half. I could have gone smaller and then it would have been like um, tighter, but I don't know if, if I want that. So the good thing is, you know, it's not like a whole garment that I'm doing. I'm just doing like a, a strip. So I might do, I don't know what I'll do. If you have any suggests, I thought like, okay, maybe I'll do the rest of the body on like this and then connect it to the front. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know how I will construct it, but I hope that um, that it won't look too wonky is what I'm kind of worried about. So that's it. That's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I will do this. I have to kind of measure how long I want it to be. So I, I guess I would measure it from the middle of my shoulder to like, or the top of my shoulder to a kind of a little bit under where the armpits start or where the arms, you know, start. <laughs> I guess that's how, so that if I am wearing a bra, it wouldn't show the bra strap. So above that level, so I have to measure basically how um, tall I want this to be. But for now, it's like it's an enjoyable stitch. It goes pretty fast with all the chains and it's easy to remember. It's just like a two row repeat and uh, without like the increases or decreases. I still haven't gotten to that. So um, it's nice. I like it. I'm glad I don't have to do like a whole garment with this because I usually just like working with larger hooks. But um, this is still enjoyable and I think the yarn is beautiful. If you're looking for a mercerized uh, cotton yarn. This is from Ice Yarns. It's called Giza Cotton. I think it's lovely. The color is gorgeous. I'm really enjoying it. So that's it. Um, to be continued. So here we are and I decided to stop at this point. So this is about, I don't know, probably like 15 centimeters tall, I guess, something like that. And because I don't know how the weight of the bottom part is going to affect this, I think I will actually continue and create the bottom part, which I think I will just do two rectangles. I'll measure my bust size and then just divide that into two and make sure the gauge is right and that I have enough stitches. Uh, it'll definitely, I mean obviously it'll be wider. Well not obviously but um, this is not <laughs> the half of my <laughs> uh, bust uh, measurements. Uh, so this is just supposed to be, you know, the the back part and yeah I just don't know how it'll behave so I'm thinking I will need to kind of make the bottom part as long as I want it and then connect it to this part and then see how the drape is and how the fit is and then make decisions about this but this went super super fast so I'm not you know I won't be like <laughs> upset if I have to frog it or change it or something. So that's the next step. I'm going to grab my other yarn 
and make final stitch decisions. I will probably do a foundation row with a half double crochet just because those are so much easier to start with and see exactly how long it is or you know how wide it is. I don't have to guess with chains. Chains are not as accurate and a foundation chain is or a foundation row is just a lot more telling. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's another update. First of all, <laughs> at least I'm consistent with my color choices. I have this cute baskets that I found at, at a shop here and I use it to keep my uh, whips. So this I think I showed you and this is kind of where I am. I decided, so I decided to start with the uh, body section so that I can attach this and then make decisions about the length of this part and how I want to shape the, um, like the front, the part that's going to be, you know, in the front on kind of the shoulder, neck area, chest area. Um, okay, so my thing with this, first of all, I also, this is the sample that I showed you before, and I, um, I also wetted it to kind of see how it dries, and I guess I could stretch it um, so that it keeps its shape. I am not sure about the half double crochet choice <laughs> with the six millimeter hook, and I'll tell you why. I really like the way that it looks. It's not about the look. I'm just not sure if it's not just like a little bit heavy for the idea of this top. So I'm wondering if I should really go with like a taller stitch. Oh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who, you know, gave me their feedback. It's also particularly <laughs> nice when most of you seem to agree with me uh, with a hook size. Um, that I think all of you that commented like said I should go with a six millimeter hook and I do think it looks um, kind of better or like tighter but I just don't know if I mean for like a super flushy yarn it is quite light but I don't know when I have like full top I don't know if it's I don't know. I mean, I could just do the whole thing and then decide, <laughs> but I'm kind of, hmm, should I? What I could also do is I could do just like the chest area with the half double crochet, and then I can do like the, you know, abdomen area with a taller stitch to give it a bit more lightness and maybe a bit more airiness. And then also if there's um, you know, if it's a bit see-through, it's not so much of an issue than when it's see-through around the bust. So that's kind of where I'm a bit, I'm a bit, um, yeah, torn. Um, I do really love how these two look together, but yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure, you know, I need to like work more to see how everything comes together and with this basically what I did was I just did like a foundation row which I think is a really great idea to do when you know your I mean you could just do a nice uh, swatch and then calculate the gauge according to your measurements but I kind of like to try things on as I go and a foundation row is a really good way of getting a pretty good idea. Even though you can see it, there's like slightly, it gets a little bit wider. Uh, I think just even though the foundation row has a good um, stretchiness of the chain part of it, it's not so tight as if you do a chain row and then work uh, your first stitch row. Um, but it still goes a little bit wider which is also okay because if I want this at the top and it's like sitting above you know the bust it's not bad if this is a bit tighter 
but yeah I didn't really measure it I just kind of uh, did the foundation row kind of tried it on my body and uh, stopped when I felt it was the uh, the right width um, yeah I guess I should just go on a bit more and then make a decision also I think even though you know you can see the stitches like I can see kind of what I'm doing um, I think it's not a bad idea to kind of count <laughs> the stitches because it is quite possible to accidentally do like an increase I feel um, I, I of course can't be bothered because I'm lazy and you know I just want to do this for fun I don't want to like have to concentrate <laughs> too much <laughs> But yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, I guess once I finish a whole skein, I will have a, kind of a better idea of the weight of these pieces. But yeah, I'm really thinking maybe I should just like make a little bit more open stitch, um, you know, after I go through, let's say, this width that would cover the bust area. Um, what I don't like about that idea is that I don't want too much going on here. Um, since I have already two different yarns and two different stitches, I kind of want the bottom to be very, very basic. But yeah, I'll probably just, you know, commit to a skein and then make more decisions. But this is the current update. Again, thank you to everyone that's been leaving their feedback. Uh, it's very much appreciated. And um, yeah, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Have strong opinions, but not so much the experience to, um, you know, kind of make them into a garment. So we'll see how it goes. I think I'll check back when I'm done with the whole skein. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.